Well-connected developer used his ties to Robert Ficano's office to cash in on taxpayers. The 7 Action News investigators have led the way in exposing county corruption. And Ross Jones is here now with another development deal that may cost an already broke county. Ross? Jeff Bonficano's team insists that no laws were broken in the deal we're about to describe. But what happened has federal officials less than pleased. Even Ficano's top aides admit this could have been handled better. Are you convinced that this was ethical? Ethical is a separate issue from what you're doing. I personally would have some ethical concerns. Wayne County's economic development chief, Ray Byers, isn't the only one. At issue is this sprawling development here in Inkster. The builder is this man, developer Ron Boji. Boji has had special access to Wayne County officials for years. He was a guest in the county's private suite here at Comerica Park. That's him in the blue shirt. And he's thrown fundraisers for Bob Ficano at his sprawling Orchard Lake home. Here's the invitation. But what officials of the Department of Housing and Urban Development, or HUD, want to know is whether Boji used his connections to the Ficano administration to cash in on federal money. With the help of Wayne County, Boji received more than $1.5 million in federal funds to help develop what's called the Inkster Marketplace. HUD started asking questions about it last year, shortly after 7 Action News exposed a slew of questionable deals that went on under Ficano's nose. It prompted him to say this. I should have had better oversight. And for letting you down, I apologize. Well, more than an apology, tonight HUD would like its money back. They say it's because Boji had strong ties to a high-ranking Wayne County official when the deal went down. What HUD found out is that Boji is the brother-in-law of Ficano's then-assistant CEO, Nader Fakuri, who received a 20% stake in the building Boji was paid to construct. The Wayne County Commission, which had to sign off on the project, didn't know about Fakuri's stake in the building either, so we told them. We've never received any paperwork that shows that Nader Fakuri has an interest in this, so you never knew. You're the first person that's got that. Why do you think nobody told you? It would have raised a huge red flag. Well, HUD issued their own red flag, deeming it a conflict of interest and saying Fakuri was in a position to potentially influence funding that went to him and his family. They want the county to return the $850,000 federal grant they received to construct the building. Lawyers were consulted every step of the way to make sure that, that everything was done absolutely appropriately. Ron Boji wouldn't talk to us for this story, but his spokesman did. He said HUD's findings are based on bad information, that his client acted ethically. As for Fakuri, John Truscott says he only became a stakeholder after the county offered it federal funds and disclosed it in an annual filing. Once that interest was granted to him, that's when he filed the disclosure. Well, not really. Fakuri disclosed that he had a passive minority ownership in a nameless property in Inkster, but he didn't say what it was. It wasn't until 18 months later that he disclosed its name. By then, Boji had already sold the building to the Wayne County Building Authority. He had no responsibilities with economic development and no responsibilities with any of the work that was being done through the HUD project. He had no decision-making authority whatsoever. That may all be true, but if Fakuri really had nothing to do with the project, why did he attend the building's ribbon cutting? That's him there on the right. Do you know where Nader is now? I have no idea. Want to take a guess? At home. Not exactly. He left the Ficano administration last year and found work in the private sector at a company called the Boji Group. The website says he's overseen projects valued at up to several hundred million dollars. Isn't it a little odd that the company this guy is suspected of helping turns around and hires him shortly after he's out of work? Um, they hired him for his IT expertise. It just happens his expertise fit with this, and um, there he's obviously somebody they're familiar with. Now, HUD also says that Boji made too much money on this deal, but Boji and the county both dispute that. Fakuri would not talk to us for this story. He did recuse himself from an economic development meeting when the building project came up in discussion, but he didn't say why. His friends have said he often attends ribbon-cutting ceremonies. Ficano's spokeswoman believes that the county won't ultimately have to pay back that $850,000 grant, even though HUD has not changed its stance so far. So do we know how much money for Corey made off this deal, Ross? Good question. He right. would not tell us, but uh, as part of a separate lawsuit and a deposition, he was asked how much he made that year. He said he made $800,000 in income. He did pretty well. Wow. Okay. All right. Thank Ross, you, Ross. Thank you.
Well, of course, keep you up to date with any new developments in the Wayne County scandal on air, online as well, at our website at WXYZ.com.